What's up, YouTube? It's your girl, Key, also known as Miss Moore, and also known on here as Diversified. So, let me tell you what I'm doing now. So, this is some tea time with Key. This is just a little update on my life. So, as some of you may know, I have my bachelor's degree, I have my master's degree, and I have my cosmetology license and instructor license. Um, currently in the position that I'm working in, I am not using my degrees or my license. Yeah. So, I decided to pick up something new. And, um, so really the title of this video is going to be Black Women Who Code. Now, I kind of previously talked about coding, um, in my last video. So, I've actually, um, enrolled into this coding boot camp. And once I'm done, I will give you all the tea on it. Or if you want to know more information, uh, hit me up down below with some questions. And I may even just post a link of the school that I'm attending. So anyway, this is my first week. So I have my code review today. And I'm super excited because I've made 300s. And both of my which i have one more um project to do which i'm in css which um if you're not in coding you may not know what css means and um i just finished up html and also if you're not in coding or you have a computer science degree or anything like that you might not know what that is either um css stands for cascading styles sheets so basically the htm side of it is the whole setup and then the cascading part is what you see so an example that they give is that the html is like let's say your body okay so html is the skeleton and then you have CSS, which is like the skin. So basically, the HTML is the interior, CSS is the exterior. So it's kind of letting you know what it's going to look like on this, on the inside is how you set it up and the outside is what you're presenting. But the action part of it is JavaScript. So JavaScript is like the muscles underneath the skin as it was taught to me. So that means it gives the action of putting it all together to make it work. So all your websites that you see, um, any kind of like pixel things, like anything that's pertaining to the computer has all set up it starts with coding there is a high demand for black women in coding so if you're interested in getting into this career this boot camp is six months because I'm doing it part-time if I was doing it full-time it'd be three months and there are several 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 boot camps what I like about coder camp is that they offered me a thousand dollar scholarship for being a woman and on top of that they were able to finance me where other schools were not. Like I said in my previous video, I also got accepted into Georgia Tech, but unfortunately at the time they don't have any kind of funding. So, you know, I still got to do what you got to do. And the payments weren't that bad either. So I'm really investing in myself at this point. This is like, I'm not saying I didn't invest in myself with my other degrees or my license, but I'm really investing in myself because the average coder entry level anywhere between 56 to yeah, I want to say around 75 or 80,000 um, if you can get an internship which some of the black women that I've watched on videos here um, you start off an internship and wind up getting jobs like that's a plus what I do like about this too I, I have a mentor who steps me through things they also help me with getting my LinkedIn page fixed up and they also help me with my portfolio that I'm going to present to employers and I'm all, I can also do this stuff myself and make the money one guy that I saw in the video like I said previously video 250,000 a year coming out after he came out of boot camp had a little bit of experience I'm like <laughs> no brainer and I don't have to get a actual bachelor's associate's master's or doctoral to make this kind of money yes there are jobs like that so if you are interested by any means let me know hit me up but I'm definitely so proud of myself because 
um, me enjoying math like I do, and I am a perfectionist. So when I came to a stumbling block, asking asking for help sometimes is like the last thing that I'll do because I will break a puzzle down. So when I tell you I broke a puzzle down and I made it work, <laughs> your girl is so proud of herself, yes. So um, after this week, um, I want to say this week ends on Sunday, which is tomorrow, I will do a little layout of what I have done Um but I'm super, super, super proud of myself. And also, just to let you know, there's so much on YouTube that you can learn and teach yourself. There's um, many programs that you can teach yourself how to do it. But also, just kind of having a backup and having a mentor to help you, uh, having a team behind you is even better than just teaching yourself. So check out all the black women on here on YouTube that code, black girls that code, any black women women that code because your girl is one now and when it's all done on march 30th when i finish i will be a black girl that codes yes ma'am so one of my projects that i think i will start especially with um black women kind of getting into this industry is maybe starting an organization for older black women because there is an organization already for girls who code um, and there's a lot of different information out there for black women that code, but, um, I definitely want to be a part of that movement. So this is your girl key, also known as Miss Moore, also known as Diversify coming to you live as always on YouTube. Please, please, please subscribe, share, subscribe, keep it going. I want to see if I can get at least, at least. 25 subscribers from this video um i just want to see my following yes and there's more videos to come and tea time with key will continue because hey that's my baby anyway love you guys have a wonderful day let me get back to coding love you